Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. What a lovely day. Good morning, Pat. Aye, it's bonny, isn't it? You hardly want to be working on a sunny day like this. Yes, I know what you mean. But we deliver whatever the weather. Oh, aye, of course. Well then, these are letters for the school. Uh, and these are for the Reverend. Oh, and this important looking letter is for Ajay. Right. I'd better deliver that first thing. Right you are. Have a good day. I will. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Now, the nut connects here. Ajay! Oh! Oh! Day's up! Coming, love. Hello, Ajay. What's going on here, then? Morning, Pat. It's the rocket. She's not running properly. I don't know why. Oh, no! What's wrong? It's the Greendale Rocket Annual Inspection. I completely forgot. You'll have her sorted by the end of the day, won't you? Nay, Pat. The inspector's coming this afternoon. I haven't even got the rocket working yet. And look at the state of the station. If we don't pass the inspection, they could close it down. We might have to leave Greendale. Well, that's not going to happen. We need this station and we need you to run it. I know. Why don't I ask everyone if they can come and help? Oh, thanks, Pat. That'd be grand. Don't worry, Ajay. We'll sort this out. Bye, Pat. Bye. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Hello, you two. Here's the post. Thanks, Pat. Everything all right, love? It's action stations, I'm afraid. What do you mean? The train inspector is coming today. Today? Oh, no. We're not ready. But we will be. Ajay's working on the train now. The nut connects here. All you have to do is make sure the cafe is running OK. Leave it to us, Pat. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> no problem. See you later. The regulator handle connects to the reach rod. The reach rod connects to the crossbar. The crossbar connects to the main valve and... Oh, oh. oh dear. Oh dear. I'll never make this work. Morning, Pat. What's all the kerfuffle? We've got a bit of an emergency, Ted. 
An emergency? Yes. Ajay needs our help. The rocket's broken down and there's a train inspector arriving this afternoon. Bayek, I'll get myself over there right away. Thanks, Ted. See you later. Might have more luck with the train anyway. <laughs> All right, everyone. Playtime's over. Morning, everyone. Here's your post. Morning, Pat. Everything all right? Well, I'm fine, but Ajay's got a bit of a problem. What's wrong with Dad? The train inspector's coming today, Mira. Your dad just got the letter. But the rocket's not working, and the station's all messy. Oh, dear. We were going to have a school trip to the station this afternoon. We'll have to cancel now. Oh! Go, Mr. Pringle, I've got a good idea. Go on then, Sarah. Why don't we go and help tidy up the station? Yeah, great idea. That could be our school trip. Yeah, cool. Fair great idea. idea. Go on. Well, are you sure we wouldn't get in the way? No, not at all. Ajay's been hoping for some helpers. OK, then. We'll get down to the station right after lunch. Thanks, Jeff. See you later. Bye, Pat. Ajay? Uh, what? Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Oh? Sorry, love. What did you say? Uh, never mind. the last of the autumn crocuses. Hello, Reverend. Here's your post. Oh, hello, Pat. You caught me planting my bulbs. Well, your flowers are looking lovely. Why, thank you, Pat. Actually, Reverend, it was your flowers I wanted to talk to you about. Oh? How so? Ajay's got the train inspector coming today and the station window boxes are looking a bit of a mess. And you thought my flowers might help brighten them up? Well, yes, if that's OK. I should be delighted. I'll just finish here, and then I'll get down to the station. We can't let Ajay and Nisha down, can we? Oh, that's wonderful, Reverend. Thank you. Come on, Jess. <coughs> Hello, how's it going? Well... I've got good news and I've got bad news. What's the good news? I know what's wrong with Rocket, and I know how to fix it. And the bad news? I haven't got right part. I need a stuffing box. You can only get them from the main station works in Pancaster. Oh, well, that's torn it. Well, I've got errands to run in Pancaster anyway. It'll be no problem to stop at the station works and pick it up. Oh, Pat! That'd be champion. You carry on working on the rocket, and I'll be back as soon as possible. OK. Bye, Pat. Right, let's get cracking. Right, everyone ready? Yes, yes sir. I am. Yes, I'm Me ready, too. sir. Come on, then. Let's go. There. Perfect. Uh, maybe we've still got these cakes to ice, don't forget. Hello, AJ. Hello. We've come to help. Oh, thanks, everyone. 
This is really kind of you. So, what do you want us to do first? Well, all this should get stored in the engine shed. Right. OK. Up we go. <sighs> the platform needs washing down and sweeping. The signs on the door needs polishing. The benches need repainting. And all the windows need cleaning. Right. Forward, troops. That's us. And as for you, Reverend... Never fear, Ajay. I already have my calling. Well, I never. Come on, Ajay. Look lively. The inspector will be here any minute. I hope Pat makes it in time. It's getting late, Jess. I hope we get back in time. Ajay, hello. What? I've got the stuffing box. Just the bloke I was hoping to see. There you go. She's good as new. Hello. Hello, is anyone there? I hope it's the train inspector. This is it, lads. How do you do, uh, Mr. Baines? Hello. Oh, I'm here to inspect your train and station. Yes, I... Please don't interrupt. We've got a lot to get through now. I shall want to see everything. Right, I... Uh, 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 sh sh Please lead on, Mr. Baines. Well, Mr. Baines, your engine shed could do with some proper dusting. Yes. And your ticket office needs tidying up. Yes. But, um, the cakes were delicious. And your Greendale rocket is most impressive. It's particularly cheering to see the whole village so involved oh. in the station. Yeah. I'm delighted to inform you that the Greendale station and rocket have passed their inspection. Oh. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. Cheers, Bat. I don't know what I would have done without you. Don't thank me. I think we all deserve a pat on the back. What a free ride on the train. All aboard for the Greendale Rocket! Just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, 
Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red friend. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. See you later. Whew. Come on, Jess. I reckon it's going to be another hot day. I'm bored. You can help me wash the Greendale rocket if you like. No, thanks. Meow. Morning, Nisha. Morning, Ajay. Hi, Pat. Can't stop, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. Someone looks fed up. Mira's bored, Pat. She says she's got nothing to do. Julian's just the same. Never mind, Mira. I've got something to cheer you up. A postcard! Uh, for me? Whoops! <laughs> Oh dear, that's torn it. It's from Cousin Sanjay. Ah, he's at the seaside. Look at that bat, Sun San. Can we go to the seaside, Mum? What? You and Dad have been working hard all summer and I've got nothing to do. Let's go to the seaside. Hmm. Hmm. Problem, Ted? You could say that, Arthur. Well, that sand can't stay there, Ted. It makes the place look untidy. I know. Question is, how are we going to move it? I'm sorry, Mira. The seaside's too far to go for just one day. Oh? Never mind, Mira. I'm sure you'll find something else to do. Come on, Jess. Let's get back to work. Meow. Bye, Nisha. Bye, Pat. Cheerio. What's this? A sad face on a sunny day? That's not allowed. Mira wants to go to the seaside, but I've explained that it's too far. Who needs the seaside? There are lots of lovely places to visit around Greendale. How about a family picnic instead? Poor oh, Mira. I wish there was something we could do to help. Hello, what's going on here? Problem, Ted? Hi, Pat. We're trying to move this sun. Only Pat. Yeah. <laughs> You'll not move much sand like that, Arthur. What else can we do? Good idea, Jess. Hurry up, love. Coming, Ajay. Green Rabbit wanted to come on the picnic too. <laughs> right then, let's go. <laughs> That's it. Fill them up. We'll have that sand shifted in no time. 
I wouldn't be so sure about that, Pat. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Reverend can help us. Are we nearly there yet, Dad? Come on, Ajay. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Come on. Thanks, Reverend. You know me, Pat. Ask and ye shall receive. I say, you've forgotten the shovel. Pat! Here we are. Thompson Ground. The perfect place for a family picnic. Oh, it's lovely, Ajay. What's that noise? I can't hear anything. No, me. It's getting louder. Hello there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's the lot. Ready, Ted? Ready as I'll ever be. Careful now, Pat. I can't bear to watch. Nearly there. Oh. No. Now what? Listen. That's Dr. Gilbertson vacuuming the surgery. That's it. But she's a very clean woman, is Dr. Gilbertson. I'm sorry I gave you a fright, but I'm afraid you can't have your picnic here. Didn't you see the beehives? We're building a proper stand for them when Ted Glenn gets here with the sand. Why don't you go up to Greendale Farm instead? That's a lovely spot for a picnic. What do you think, everybody? Greendale Farm? This vacuum cleaner should do it. We'll use it to suck up all the sand and then blow it back into the truck. Good idea, Pat. Are you sure it'll work? Of course it'll work. Dr. Gilbertson says it's a bit temperamental, but it should do the job. Just watch. Hi, Dad. Hello. What are you two doing here? I'm just taking Julian round to play at Charlie's. It's boring at home. Not another one who's bored. Lucy's been driving me up the wall all day. Mira's the same. She was desperate to go to the seaside this morning. If only there was something they could all do together. Maybe there is, Mum. Come on. Uh, Julian! Right then, everybody. Back to work. At last. Oh, I thought we'd never make it. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but all that walking's made me more hungry. Uh, Dad? Hi. Look behind you, Ajay, and to the sides. That's right, Charlie. I'll see you there. Oh, and don't forget to bring a bucket and spade. Oh, and tell Tom and Katie as well. What's going on, Julian? I'll tell you later, Mum. Lucy, hi, it's Julian. Go, you sheep. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go away. Dad! Don't worry, Mera. Everything's under control. Shoo, shoo. Go away, I say. Oh, bow to you too. Are you all right, Dad? Of course. I'm absolutely fine. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, 
That's no good, Ajay. I can't eat with all these sheep looking at me. We'll have to go somewhere else. Well, it certainly seems to be doing the job, Pat. What? I said it certainly seems to be doing the job. What? He said... <coughs> Looks like we're going to have to use my helmet after all. At least there's no sheep. Let's just hope nothing else goes wrong, hmm? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Are you okay, Dad? If somebody could just help me with this. Dad! <coughs> the backpack! Oh dear. A picnic! Never mind, Pat. These things are sent to try us. Yes, and some of them try us more than others. Hello, what's going on here? Julian? I've brought some friends to play, Dad. Come on, everyone, dig in! <laughs> <laughs> Julian! Hooray! Hooray! Yeah! I'm sorry, Mira. Our day hasn't turned out too well, has it? The picnic's ruined, I'm afraid. Is there anything you'd like to do instead, love? No thanks, Dad. Let's just go home. <sighs> <laughs> this is loads better than being stuck indoors. It's like being at the seaside. Mira wanted to go to the seaside today. I've got an idea. Meow. Not far now, Nisha. This must be the most tiring day out ever. Listen. Oh, whatever's that? Something's happening in Greendale. Come on. Here, everyone. The guests of honour have arrived. Oh! Yay! 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 Well, what do you think of Greendale on Sea? It's wonderful, Pat, but this isn't all for us, is it? Why not? You wanted to go to the seaside, didn't you? Yes. Well, if the Baines can't go to the seaside, the seaside must come to the Baines. And Dorothy and I have decided the children can keep the sand. So I'm going to build them a proper sand pit. So we'll never be bored again. Oh, look out! Watch out! That's me helmet. Come on! Thanks, Pa! This is the best day out ever! Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man 
everybody knows his bright red friend. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Mr. Pringles let me bring the school guinea pig home. Everybody wanted to look after Dottie, but Mr. Pringles said I could take care of her. Well, well. Hello, Dottie the guinea pig. <laughs> That's not very nice, Jess. Dottie's our weekend guest. Let's put Dottie's cage over here. There you are. Mira is coming to play with you tomorrow, Dotty. <coughs> Settle down in your basket, Jess, and leave Dotty in peace. <coughs> The cage door's open. Oh, what am I going to tell Mr Pringle? She must be somewhere. I was supposed to be looking after her. Don't worry, Julian. Dotty! <coughs> Dotty! Oh. We're sure to find her. Dotty! Dotty! Dotty, where are Dottie. you? Dotty! Come on, come on, Dotty. <coughs> I'm sorry, Julian. I have to go. I've got the post to deliver. But, but Dad, what if we can't find Dotty? It'll be all right, Julian. Dotty's bound to turn up when she gets hungry. Pat, don't forget your snack. Thanks, Sarah. I'll enjoy that later. Meow. Have a nice time with Mira, Julian. We were going to play with Dotty. Come on, let's go and have another look for her. <laughs> You're keen to get started this morning, Jess. Yes. You know you've got to sit still while I'm driving. Morning, Pat. Good morning, Arthur. Come on, Jess. Let's see how Mrs Goggins is this morning. <laughs> you are keen, Jess. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, what's that you're knitting? Oh, morning, Pat. It's a scarf for the Reverend. I've nearly finished. Oh, I do hope he likes it. I'm sure he'll love it, Mrs. Goggins. Hey! <coughs> what on earth? <coughs> Jess? <coughs> Jess! Oh, what a 
Whatever's got into that wee Jess? Oh. Um, have I dropped a stitch, Pet? Uh, no, no, I was just... I was just admiring your handiwork, Mrs Goggins. Hi, Julian. Where's Dotty? She's gone, Mira. Gone? Gone where? She got out of her cage last night. We've searched all the rooms downstairs and now we're going to look upstairs. Come on, Julian, I'll help. And maybe Dotty's hiding in your bedroom. Hi, Pat. How's Dotty? Uh, she was fine the last time I saw her, Katie. Is Julian giving her all her favourite food? Uh, uh, I think so, Tom. Morning, Julia. Here's your post. Oh, thanks, Pat. The twins and I have been busy sorting out the attic this morning. We found Granny's old fur hat and stole. Seems a pity to throw them out. Why don't you ask Mr Pringle if he'd like them for the school dressing up box? Oh, that's a good idea, Pat. <coughs> Mom, look at Gran's furry hat. Oh, there's nothing inside it. But it was moving, Mum. Maybe the wind blew it down the path. I suppose it could have been the wind. She's not in my toy box. Maybe she crawled under your bed. Dotty! Hello! Are you there? Poor Dotty. I bet she's getting hungry. <sighs> Time for our morning break, Jess. Hmm, I could just do with a biscuit. <coughs> hey, Jess, where are you going? <laughs> Jess, come and sit up here with me. Meow. This is nice, Jess. Meow. A bit of peace and quiet at last. That's Meow. Dotty. Meow. It can't be Dotty, can it? Meow. Come on, Jess. Let's get her back. Meow. <laughs> Dotty. Meow. A mitten? Meow. <laughs> this isn't Dotty at all. So where's she gone? Meow. Oh well, never mind. Let's have our snack, Jess. What? Who's eaten my apple? And where's my biscuit? Dotty's not upstairs, Mum. We've looked everywhere. Oh, dear. Where can she be? Maybe she's outside. Let's go look in the garden. What, Divika? Oh, Nisha. 
You do spoil me. And there's a slice of your favorite ginger cake. What bliss! Won't you join me? Oh, I'd love to, Vicar, but I've got so much to do this morning. Morning, Nisha. <gasps> morning, Reverend. Hello, Pat. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. After the morning I've had, I'd love a cup of tea. There you go, Pat. Thanks, Nisha. Had a busy morning, have you, Pat? <laughs> you could say that. <sighs> Can you see what I can see? I can see the tea cosy moving across the table, Pat. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Quiet, Jess. You'll scare her. Ah, gone again. You know what was in here, don't you, Jess? I know it was Dotty, Jess. But where is she now? What am I going to tell everybody at school, Mira? We'll find her. She's got to be somewhere. Come on, Jess. <laughs> yes, I'm glad to be home too, Jess. Oh, Dad, we still haven't found Dotty. We've looked everywhere for her. We looked upstairs and downstairs. They even searched in the garden. Oh, dear. I thought I saw her in the station cafe just now. Really? But how could she have got there? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a very peculiar day. I'm seeing things. Oh! You're not seeing things and neither am I. That's Dotty. Dotty! <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> you stay here with me. Where is she? Where's she gone? She's here, Julia. Hello, Dotty. Do you want your dinner? There you are. She's very hungry. I wonder where she's been all day. <laughs> I know exactly where she's been all day. <laughs> and so does Jess. Through your door. <laughs> <laughs> 
Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. There's a lot for Mira. It's her birthday tomorrow. Ah, I see. Oh, this one's for you, Pat. Ah, good. I was getting worried it wouldn't arrive in time. The Big Book of Magic Tricks. My word. It's for Mira's birthday party at the school hall tomorrow afternoon. I promised Nisha I'd do some magic tricks. Oh, <laughs> I see. Mira loves magic tricks. Don't Meow. tell her, though. It's a surprise. Bye, Pat. Pat! Pat! Hello, Mira. Are there, are there any birthday cards for me? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, there may be one or two. We'll have a look when we get inside, shall we? Morning. Hello, Morning, love. Pat. There's a lot of post for someone. I wonder who it's for. Oh, Pat. Oh, must be you, Mira. Happy birthday for tomorrow. <gasps> oh, thank you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> you are coming to my party tomorrow, aren't you, Pat? I wouldn't miss it for anything. Mom and Sarah are making lots of food and, and we're going to have a disco and all my friends will be there. I wanted to have a magician, but Mum couldn't find one. <gasps> Here's Dad! I'm going to show him my cards. Dad! Dad! <laughs> she hasn't guessed you're going to be the magician, Pat. Are you sure you don't mind? Of course not. But I'd better go and practice. Bye! Bye! Hello, Pat. Ajay. I got the book. Uh, let's have a look. What are you going to do, Pat? Levitation. Make a friend float up in the air. Oh, that'll be good. Yes, but it needs a big car jack to lift them with. That's no problem. I've got one in the shed. That's perfect, Ted. We'll do that then. How about this? The box of mystery. Make your friends disappear right before your eyes. Mayor would love it if you could make her disappear. What about the box? We can make that, can't we, Ajay? Why? That's it, then. If I do some card tricks as well, we'll have a perfect magic show. I'll go home and get practising. And we'd better get started, Ajay. Not much time before tomorrow, eh? Right-o. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, Ajay. Come on, Jess. <laughs> My, you look busy. Hello, Pat. What do you think? Lovely. Jess! Meow! 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 Jess! 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 Come on, Jess. There. It's just a star. Now, I must practice some of my magic tricks. Uh, let me see. Take a card, Julian. Now, put it back. Whoops. <laughs> Thanks. Now, uh, now, where was I? Your card was the two of spades. No, it wasn't. Oh, 
Are you sure? Yeah. Well, maybe I could make a rabbit come out of a hat. Hmm. Pat, are you sure you're going to be ready in time for tomorrow? Well, I've got to be. I promised Nisha. This. It's for the levitation trick. That's great, Ajay. And there's the box of mystery finished and all. It looks great. Thanks, Ted. Can we try it? I don't see why not. In you go, Jess. Go on. Ted and Ajay made it specially for you. No, Jess. The other way out. Ta -da! Push, Jess. You've got to go back in. Go on, Jess. Ta -da! He's a very bright cat, is Jess. Especially with food. And we better be going. We'll be late for the party. Hi. Oh, right. the great pleasure in announcing a surprise act. Oh. A very special act. Oh. A magic oh. act. The amazing Patini. Oh. 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 Mum, you're brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be at the birthday party of a very special girl. Oh. Happy birthday, Mira. Oh, dear. I seem to have lost your birthday present. Uh, now then, where did I put it? Ah! Here it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pat. Lucy, would you take a card? OK. And put it back, please. Oh, no. With the magic that I've got, your card will rise up to the top. The Nine of Diamonds. Is that your card, Lucy? Yes. Oh. 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 It's gone. Oh. <laughs> nine of Diamonds, Diamond Nine. I command you now to rise and shine. Gone again. Now those naughty cards have had it. I'll change them into oh. Nick Hill's rabbit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need a volunteer. Please, Dad, please, oh, please, 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 please,
I think it's really got to be someone who's having a birthday today. Aww. <laughs> Would you lie down on the magic carpet, please? With this magic, you shall fly higher up towards the sky. Thank you, Mira. <sighs> Did you see me? Did you see me? Now, I need the assistance of a black and white cat. Has anyone seen one anywhere? <coughs> this is my most difficult trick of all. <gasps> Just my cat, my black and white <coughs> cat, my cat that we all know. I command you, Jess, my black and white cat. My black and white cat must go. Where's he gone? Don't worry, Tom. I can soon make him come back. Jess is white and Jess is black. I command you, Jess, come back, come back. Oh, oh dear. Um, perhaps he's decided to stay invisible. Jess, Jess. Oh dear, poor Jess. No, no, no. It's all part of the act. Is it? <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, what he needs is uh, some magic. Can you help me call him? I told you, it's part of the act. You are clever, Charlie. Yes. 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 Where are you, Jess? Oh. He can't have gone outside. The door's shut. He must be somewhere. Do you suppose Pat's really made him disappear? Yes! 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 Really? Yes! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, everyone. I think he's ready to come back now. Jess is white and Jess is black. I command you, Jess. Come back, come back. You are clever, Dad. Thanks, Pat. You've made my birthday magic. <laughs> Yes, the cat. 